On today's show, we are going to purge our 3D printer. And I'll tell you what that means coming up. Hey, welcome to the first layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here twice a week, every Wednesday and live stream Saturday night. If you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that little bell so you get notified every time we put up a brand new episode. And today what we're doing is we are jumping deep into purge territory. What do I mean by that? Well, we got some purge filament from our friends over at filaments.ca. And uh, you can see some here in a package. And each one comes with a little card that tells you exactly what to do with the printer. So we're going to follow the steps step by step. We've got our safety glasses right here. And we will be wearing our safety glasses because that's one of the things that they recommend that you do. Um, now, I just want to give you a quick synopsis of what it says here. And it says, 3D printers to keep the critical extruder head clean and lubricated. This is what purge filament does. The purge is designed to clean and lubricate your extruder head and nozzle in one step, removing hardened contaminants and residue that build up over time, which plug your extruder head and cause it to fail. Follow the instructions below and for best results. And also wear safety glasses. So it does say that right here in the instructions so we are going to do that. Um, I want to point out here for optimum results, it says use, pur use purge filament as directed above every time you change materials or colors at a minimum. Now, should you do that? Maybe. We're going to try that out. By shutting down your 3D printer and starting up your machine with a small amount of the purge filament loaded in the extruder, you'll significantly extend, extend the life of your extruder, nozzle, and printer head assembly. Well, that's kind of interesting. And startup and shutdown temperatures should be in the range of 165 to 190C. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or would like to get a copy of a ring printing file, as mentioned in step four, please contact us at info at filaments.ca. And we'll leave a link down below to filaments.ca where you can get yourself some purge filament. But let's go ahead and start with the printer. So it says set the temperature to plus 175C. So let's turn on the printer. We'll get this out of the road. And we got a nice camera shot of the extruder here. So we'll go to that. There you can see uh, we got a nice little camera uh, underneath our extruder. And I do not have a sock on this particular printer, as you can tell. So am I losing heat? Maybe just a little bit. So let's go ahead and set this up to 100 and I usually do about 180 to 200. So I'm gonna split the difference and we're gonna heat this up to 190. Well, maybe we'll just go with, with the PLA default setting at 185. So I'm just going to move the axis on the extruder here so you can see that we've actually got filament loaded. And there we go, it's coming out. It's pretty consistent for the most part. Looks like a nice even line. And we're going to come to a stop here, right? There we are. So we've come to a stop. We're just going to take that out of the way. And uh, we will get ready to load up our other filament. So let's uh, just go back to unloading and then we'll load up the new stuff. All right, before we do that, we need to put on our safety glasses. And now I have prescription safety glasses, so I'm going to look a little nerdy. There we go. I look like I'm ready to fly a plane. All right, so let's go ahead and unload our filament. 
We'll take this filament roll off. And we're just going to feed in some of this new purge filament. If we can get it untangled. Remember kids, don't let your uh, filament get tangled. I'm just going to run it off the side here. All right, so now that we've got it loaded, we've got our temperature up. What does it say for us to do? Well, I need my other glasses. So I can read what's going on. You know, it just, it's horrible when you have to do things differently. All right, so we're going to feed in about 8 to 12 inches of purge filament. With some machines, you may use the filament feed or start the filament mode to feed the filament. Other machines may require you to do this manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through about 200 millimeters of filament. So I'm going to go down to prepare. I'm going to move the axis for the extruder. And I'm going to say I want to do about 200. Let's get my safety glasses on. You can see that uh, on your screen now, we are purging out the old red filament that was in there. And here comes that purge filament. So right here, I can see that this material is still got a lot of red um, filament in it. So the color red that's still in there um, it's still coming out because I have a light over here to kind of transmit through the uh, opacity of the the purge filament and we're going to do this till it comes out absolutely clean so we may do it two or three times it does recommend that in the instructions we've got our purge filament there and uh, now what it wants us to do is once we've completed step two is it wants us to increase the temperature to five degrees below our maximum. And we know that on this machine, our maximum, I believe, is 260. So we're just going to go into our control here, go down to temperature, go down to the nozzle, and increase that to 255. Okay, 256. We're going to let that heat up, and we're going to run another 200 millimeters through. Or, yeah, 200 millimeters. That's roughly about 8 inches. And you can see that it's flowing a lot thinner now. And, yeah, it's way thinner than it was before. This is really molten now. All right, so now we've run the purge again up at our higher temperature, five, five or six degrees below uh, our max temperature for the Ender 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that temperature back down to about 185, and we're going to try and print their test ring with the purge filament. So stick with us. All right, so now that we've used the purge filament, we can see exactly what we have here. We'll just cut to this camera, and you can see the... Where it started to extrude, the, there's, it's really, really red. And you can see by the end, we got to nice, clean filament there. So this was the purge. Now we are going to, we've loaded in some new filament. We've loaded in some new filament, and we are going to go ahead and print a test cube, as we always do, and just see how much cleaner our test cube is. Okay, so we weren't able to print the ring from filament.ca uh, because it is already made into a G-code file and set up for a Delta printer. Now, if filaments.ca were to just release an STL that you could slice yourself, I think that might be a better idea and give you a cleaner indication. However, that being said, we've got our purged filament here. You can see that we went from a dark red right through to a clear. 
which really came out nice. So we'll just move that out of the way. Uh, the other thing I would recommend, this was a cube that we printed directly after um, the purge. So we reloaded some red. It looks beautiful. Absolutely flowed flawlessly and looks absolutely beautiful. Again, these are tests that I would do uh, anyway. This is a filament or a temperature tower, filament temperature tower. Um, you can find these on Thingiverse. Again, the trusty old Benchy and then our calibration cube. So in conclusion, is purge filament worth your hard-earned money? Absolutely. And I'll tell you why I say that, because it will clean and lubricate your hot end. Now, with that being said, they do recommend that you do it between each roll of filament or change of colors, or even at the beginning of each print. Do I think that's necessary? No, with an asterisk. And I'll tell you why. I think if you're going to change filament types, you're going to go from PLA to PETG or nylon or something along that line. I think purging is a great idea and using a clean filament like the purge filament will help to ensure that your print for that new material or new color is going to come out absolutely perfect. Um, I think that's a definite way to look at it. And it does clean out all the garbage from your hot end. Now, truth be told, the hot end that is in this particular Ender 3 is still fairly new. It's only maybe got 200 hours on it. So there's not a lot of built up uh, material in there. Uh, when we do move to a different uh, hot end, which as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Micro Swiss direct replacement. We probably will go that way. Uh, and then we'll do it again. But in the meantime, check out filament.ca or filaments.ca. We'll leave a link in the description down below. Go and get yourself some of this purge filament and try it for yourself. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Follow the directions and you'll get good results. So now where do we go from there? Well, we go into thanking a bunch of people like we do every week. Of course, we've got Brian behind the controls today. There he is, and doing a fabulous job. We've been uh, we've been working hard today, Brian and I. And I also want to thank Jess Cornaching, who is not here with us today, but she'll be with us in our next recording session. And uh, if you don't know, we try and record these shows ahead of time just so that we can get them out to you on a regular basis. And that's kind of what we're up to today. So with that said, my friends, let's also thank Spool3D.ca for everything that they do for us, including giving us this wonderful uh, facility to film in each and every week. And uh, they've got everything that you need from printers to accessories, filaments, and a whole lot more. So check them out today at Spool3D.ca. Yeah, print it right, print it with Spool 3D. So that's my time. I'm out of here. We're going to see you Saturday night at 7 p.m. We're going to be answering your questions, so make sure that you join us. Don't forget, we now have merch at Teespring. I'll leave a link down below. Go ahead and grab yourself one of these fancy purple t-shirts. I'm a big fan of my purple t-shirt. I know, I kind of look like Barney. I love you. So with that said, my friends, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. I'm going to go have a drink.